hey y'all welcome back to my channel my name is nelcy if you're new here welcome so today i'm doing a cook with me video so we're going to be making this delicious dish together so without further ado let's get into the video and if you're the cooking police and you coming out to everybody cooking video because they doing something that you don't do please exit let's get into the video so the three main ingredients I'm going to be using today are zucchini, salmon, and quinoa. Now I don't really like quinoa, but I bought it and I do not want it to go to waste. So I'm going to cook it. But y'all, I'm not going to do too much talking in this video because I can talk a whole lot. But look at how pretty that is so pretty so once i take it out of the package i'm going to run some water over it just to wash it and clean it a little bit now the water got foamy but this that is not soap it's just it just got foamy because i sprayed water over the fish but you always want to make sure that you actually rinse off whatever you're gonna cook make sure you wash it i didn't have any limes that i could squeeze in there to clean it some more but i usually do that and then i'm just going to cut it into like six to eight ounce pieces and I'm going to cook two tonight and the rest will go in the fridge for later this week. So after I cut them, I'm gonna rinse them off one more time. So now it's time to season the salmon. So do y'all say salmon or salmon? Because I say both. But anyways, so I just wing it when it comes to seasonings, guys. I do not measure. I never measure unless I'm following a recipe. Then I guess I could measure. But even then, I'd be adding my own little sauce to it because I don't know. I don't do all that. But anyways, I just put a whole bunch of seasonings that, that I know will taste good into a bowl with the lemon juice and then at the end because i wanted to have a like a a pasty texture i added some mayonnaise and some mustard you can't go wrong with that don't knock it till you try it and then i marinate the the fish and i leave it over to the side as i prep the other things and i promise you this fish right here i ain't even gonna say nothing just know it was bomb Now it's time to prep the zucchini and y'all I haven't cooked zucchini in a minute and I did not know they was supposed to be this dirty like it was so grainy I don't know do zucchinis grow underground like potatoes and stuff because them things was dirty child like I had to like scrub them bitches but <laughs> yeah so wash them first and cut them into like little round pieces but yeah so right now i'm about to cook the quinoa so i'll just put two cups of water and some salt into a pot and let the water come to a boil make sure you wash your quinoa like i said guys you gotta wash everything wash your quinoa and then once the water starts boiling you add in your quinoa and let that cook for however long it takes 15 minutes tops you know until it's cooked and that's pretty much it for the quinoa So for the zucchinis, I'm going to air fry them because I want them to come out a little bit crunchy and like a little dried out. Because if you cook, I don't know if you ever had zucchini, it's they carry, they hold a lot of water. So when I cook them on the stove top or like pan fry them, they come out real soggy and I don't like that texture. So I find it better when I put in air fryer, it comes out a little bit more 
crunchy and like you know like I don't know but I find it better to air fry them so I air fried them for like 20 minutes I sprinkled some seasoning on top and that was it for the zucchini they was done and out the way so as you can see I got the quinoa out the, out the way also so I'm just gonna wait for it to finish boiling and cooking so now we're gonna get started on the salmon and now the salmon is really pretty self-explanatory if you've ever cooked it before you can bake it honestly it's so much easier to just put it in the oven and leave it but we're going to pan fry it and what i did i sprayed some olive oil and i put two of the pieces in there and i put some butter and some minced garlic and basically when the butter melts you just want to grab a spoon and put some of the butter on top of the fish you know like so so that's it and then after that i covered it while i waited for the quinoa to finish cooking but if you're gonna do this make sure you cook your quinoa before everything else because that takes the longest to cook but that was pretty much it beautiful it came out like so freaking beautiful like golden and just gorgeous Mwah. so that was pretty much it by this time your quinoa should be done and your zucchinis should be out the air fryer and now it's time to plate it make it look good for our pictures so we can get a good thumbnail so y'all can click on it you know that's the point all right <laughs> so i hope y'all enjoyed this video and yeah you know what's funny this took me like an hour to make but this video is like eight minutes y'all some lucky people some lucky people but yeah oh i ended up adding some butter to the quinoa just because i felt like it i just thought it would be better that way so for plating it you know i had to make it look a little fancy but that's pretty much it y'all the fish was so good like everything was good the veggies were seasoned to perfection everything was so good i'm not even saying this because i cooked it like it was just so bomb like i tasted it i was so surprised how good it turned out and you know i don't really like mess with quinoa like that but trust me this 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 was bomb but if y'all want more cooking videos let me know so i can you know push them out for y'all because i'll be cooking so yeah i'll see you guys in my next video <laughs>